How could you let it go? Uh, Dan, let me call you right back, okay? Thank you. The man called, he apologized, he had some personal emergency. That's not even the point, Jack. Did you read my report? Of course I did, and I was very concerned. But when Jaden's social worker asked her about it, she said her father has never been abusive in any way. Of course she said that, she's fucking scared. What the fuck do they teach you guys in grad school? Jack, in her mind, he's always right behind her, watching her when she's sleeping, taking a shit, when she's alone with the therapist, he is right there, watching her, ready to pounce. And you just expect her to just come out and say it? Are you guys fucking stupid? Because she was here asking for help, and you just sent her back to the fucking shark. I realize you're upset, Grace, but yelling at me isn't an effective form of communication! Okay, Jack, Jack, I'm, I'm sorry, please, cancel the past until we figure this out, because I know her, and I know things are not good at home. And how do you know that? Because she read you a children's story? Don't fuck with me, Jack. I'm on the floor every day with those kids, and last night, that girl sat next to me and she cried and she tried to tell me the only way she knew how. Grace, you're lying, staff. It is not your job to interpret tears. That's what our trained therapists are here for. Then your trained therapists don't know shit. Has she been telling you she's been abused by your father? She didn't have to. If I have to take the child away from her biological parents, yes, she does. This Bullshit. Grace, I've been working with these kids for longer than you've been alive, but I cannot start accusing old parents of being sexual offenders. Especially where they're friends of friends, right, Jack? We are finished here, Grace.